She'd love that. We are live. Hi, baby girl. Hey, everybody. If you are watching this live video, please give me a shout out and let me know if you can see me. This is Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Let me know if you can see this video and if it is clear. Let me know. I'm waiting for you. Hi, Helen. All right, Lori, thank you. I see the hearts flying by. Thanks, Bar. Hey, everybody, happy Saturday. It is a super happy Saturday, and I'll tell you why. This amazing couple, everybody, welcome this beautiful couple to the 100 plus family. Tell us your names. Uh, Anita and Jim. Jim, Jim Hunt. And your dog. Carson. This is Carson. So tell us, you have been following 100 Plus and you drove all the way here last night from Tampa. 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 I have been in communication with yes. Anita and her husband. Um, I love them. I love them so much. They actually drove here last night. They actually got a hotel room and they came here to meet our dog Kindred. Um, unfortunately, it was not the match that we were hoping for. Their dog, Carson, is an older, sweet, sweet 12-year-old. Um, Kindred, sadly, was just too much for him and too much in his face. Then we tried another dog that we pulled uh, the other day, Moby. Moby was just trying to get underneath poor Carson and flip him and play with him, and it was just way too much, no aggression, but just way too much energy. So we were sitting there, we were talking, and we mentioned Helen. And they said, we'd love to meet Helen. We've seen Helen's picture. So I told them to go get a drink and enjoy themselves and decompress and unwind. And that's what they did. And Carol and myself, just look at all the smiles over here. And I want to say it's making me want to cry. hello to these two amazing, amazing people. This is like better than hitting the lottery right here. Tell us your names. Denise. Greg. And they live in Coral Springs. They reached out to us wanting to help by fostering. Um, Denise has shared, has followed us, and they took our Helen into their home. How long have you had her here now, guys? Three weeks. Three weeks with their two other dogs. Um, we were just talking outside for quite some time and discussing how she's been doing and acclimating. I know she's crazy about you and crazy about you and your whole family. It's hard, right? Yes, we're happy. It's good stuff. Yeah. You guys are the stepping stone yeah. to make this forever happen. I know it's bittersweet. I know it's it's hard. You get very, very attached. Oh, look at Greg. What? He's so sweet. I could see it in your face. <laughs> I could see it in your face. But this is so good because guess what? Helen is going to be going home with her new mommy and daddy. Yay! This is so... <laughs> Helen has a forever family. Guys, if you remember, I went to the Miami-Dade Animal Services Kill Shelter. I don't even know how long we've had her now. Do you, Carol? Has it been seven months, six, seven months at least? At least, yeah. at least probably yeah. at least, yeah. so probably about no, seven no, months or more. Oh, wow. um, we okay. saw <laughs> Helen in the Miami-Dade Kill Shelter. She was not even the dog that we were planning on pulling. And she was crying. She was three times the size. I'm not kidding. She was laying on her side with this massive tumor outside of her body. And I looked at her and she was licking my face off and talking to me and I said, nobody's gonna pull, nobody is going to take this dog. All the dogs around her are young and they're healthy. And I said, I've gotta get her out of here. And we did, and we removed her tumor. Um, she has night tremors, she has bad nightmares from her past, her history. She's on Prozac twice a day. And that doesn't scare this wonderful, wonderful couple that are opening up their home and their heart to our sweet Helen. Yeah. Guys, this is, I have the goosebumps right now. <laughs> I have goosebumps, I swear to God, running down my arms because I can't believe Helen has found her forever. Lisa Lynn, our awesome volunteer, thank you so much for fostering Helen and breaking her out of the kennel because she was so sad and depressed. Um, you are another part of this huge, huge journey of Helen. Carol, can you please do me the honor? You never see anything bad ever again in your entire life. <laughs> Helen, you're going home, Mom. And Dad's your new brother? Yeah, and your mommy brother. and daddy? 
I will tell you, they told me Helen likes to hump a pillow occasionally, so I think that's pretty much her only bad habit. Um, and when she does wake up and cry or bark at night, if you just touch her and kiss her and love her and tell her she's okay, she'll be just fine. She'll be just fine. And she's going to be so excited to get into your car for the four-hour ride because that's like her favorite thing to do. It's such good stuff, such good, and I have all of her medical, everything that's been done on her, there's nothing we've left out, all the copy of all her vaccines, her prevention, she's up to date on everything, um, hot worm negative, everything, it's just perfect, she's perfect. <laughs> Give kisses, Helen. Such good stuff. She's going to love the And she's so chill. She's just going to lay with you next to you. That's it. Carson likes her too because she's not in his face enough. Carson, did we do good this time? Carson. Carson, I'm talking to you, gorgeous. Yes. Oh, hi.